Hi guys, it's John Bo from Wildweed Bushcraft. This video is all about why I have stopped using the Grand Forth Brooks Small Forest Axe and have started using the Holter Force Abbey instead. So, we all know then that the Grand Force Brooks Small Forest Axe is a fantastic axe, okay? I'm not disputing that. Um, I think it's a great axe for a day, two, two days in the woods overnight. Um, the problem I started to face with it was the handle. At 19 inches long, I started to um, rapidly run out of handle in the tasks that I was doing. So I was splitting larger round material. I was beginning to fell sort of small diameter trees. Um, and I just found that I was reaching the limitations and the sort of the usefulness of this ax. So that is why I moved over to the Holter Fourth Ax. So the Holt Force Abbey is 23 inches long in the handle. Um, it's a lot finer handle and it gave me a lot more ability to, to split those bigger diameter rounds, um, to get more swing and more power into my cuts when um, felling small trees. Um, and I just found it really, really useful. On the canoe trail as well, um, clearing branches from rivers, um, clearing portage trails, this just outperformed the Grand Force Brooks. Um, entirely. So one of the other factors that came in uh, to me making the decision to swap this small forest axe out um, was is the edge geometry. So on the, the halter force it's a lot flatter um, which was uh, I found a lot more usable for the, the stuff that I was doing. It was great for chiseling out um, joints on wood for, for making sort of things like tables and shelters. Um, it gave me an, an even straighter cut compared to the, the Grand Force. Um, but to be fair to the Grand Force books, that's not fundamentally what it's designed for. It's just, that's what I wanted out of my ax, my, my woodland ax, the, 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 my pack ax, the ax I take out onto all the trails. Um, that's what I wanted. So that was another thing that informed my decision. Um, Another thing that I really like about the Holt Force Abbey is this um, finger gouge or, or beard here. Um, the Grand Force doesn't really have that. You can't choke up on it anywhere near as much um, as you can with the Holt Force. It's really quite finely balanced um, and it allowed me to properly choke upon the axe and do some sort of finer carving, um, some nice pointing, some beveling. Um, I've even used it for a little bit of spoon carving on the trail. Um, it's, just, it's just a really nice all round axe and it's hard to get an axe these days that is suitable for most things and does most things well. But I think what Holter Force have done with the Abbey is, is massively knocked the ball out of the park. Now, I bought this myself. I'm not sponsored by Abbey. I'm not, you know, I'm not sponsored by Health Force to, to, to big up this axe. It's just a, an honest, an honest opinion. Where the Grand Force does outperform the Abbey is when you're um, splitting small diameter rounds um, along the length. Um, because it's a shorter handle, you're able to get more control and hold the wood and the uh, and the axe at the same time nice and controlled nice and safe with the with the abbey it's a little bit more unwieldy just because of the length of the handle that's not to say you can't do it it's just in the interest of um fairness this this one did outweigh the abbey um but overall i'm super happy with this so um let's do a bit of splitting and you can see what i mean
So, um, my sort of opinions on the, the Holterforth Abbey versus the Grand Force Brooks Moor Forest Axe. Um, the reasons why I stopped using this, started using this, and um, yeah, hopefully you found it useful. Try and get hold of both, try and have a play with both, make your own decision, but for what it's worth, this is what I think. Hope you liked the video. Please like, share, subscribe, do all that social media stuff. It really helps us out. And uh, until the next time, see you in the woods one day.